Welcome to the first episode ever of Minivan Confessions. Minivan Confessions. I am perfectly safe. I got my hands on 10 and 2 and I'm looking forward. In fact, I'm less distracted now than I am when children are in the car. But I can talk, I'm good at that. Guys, here's my deal. I feel like a lot of us try to put on a good face. You know, we try to keep a good game. But it really is not helping or benefiting anybody. So I thought I'd take some time to confess a few things. I live in a self-induced madhouse. Taking myself seriously isn't an option. So I'm doing what any good mom would do, winging it. Okay, so I feel like I've been a mom for a lot longer than I actually have been. I feel like I have like two moms lifetimes of experience in one with having older kids and younger kids I have boys and girls. I'm pretty covered on the spectrum of ages and experiences. I came into motherhood with the knowledge how to change a diaper, feed a baby, put him down for a nap, all that stuff. I am the oldest girl of seven kids. I have an older brother, but I have five younger siblings. So when I came into motherhood, I felt pretty prepared. There were, of course, a ton of things that I wasn't prepared for. I certainly wasn't prepared for the incredible anxiety that comes with being a mom. I was not prepared for the sleepless nights, not because one of my kids was up, but because I couldn't stop worrying about them. The thing I wasn't prepared most for was the lack of boundaries where people think that they could just tell you whatever they want and say whatever they want and give you an opinion and give you advice. I was not prepared for that. So my confession for today, I literally used to be the person that sat there and said, oh, that'll never be me. Oh my goodness, how does she let her child act like that? She should handle it this way. I had an opinion about everything. It has taken me years to get to a point where I look at the mom in the grocery store who's got a screaming kid and smile at her and tell her that she's doing an awesome job. I just have empathy and compassion for moms and their struggles. And I think a lot of that comes from being judged, being on the other end of that, being on the receiving end of some judgment. And doing videos and putting myself out there, I am able to be even more judged. It's just part of, it's just part of the package. When you put videos out there for people to see, there are gonna be people who judge you. And that, I get that. I am grateful for the perspective that I have now as a mom. I feel sorry for my younger self, for my ignorance. I feel sorry for the people that I might have had an opportunity to maybe empathize with when I was younger and um, instead of judging them. If there's one thing, and I can't get emotional because I'm driving, if there's one thing that I can tell other moms, it's if we can stop giving a crap about what other people think, we and our children will be so much happier. Short of hurting your child or neglecting them, everybody is doing their best that they possibly can. So I'm gonna give some advice and it is again to not even new moms or young moms because I feel like I know so many moms of multiple children who still struggle with this. And guess what, I still struggle with it. I know how easy it is to judge people. I do it myself, I still do it myself. I know how easy it is to sit there and gossip it creates a bond with the person that you're gossiping with, but honestly, if you think about it logically, if someone is talking crap about someone, especially one of their friends, don't you think that person is going to talk that way about you sometime? No matter how much they say, oh no, I would never talk about you that way. Just keep that in mind because people know deep down and they're gonna register that in their in their brain that you're not trustworthy and that you're probably doing the same thing to them as you are to the friend that you're gossiping with them about. A practice that I have that I've used is obviously trying to put myself in that person's shoes but also just giving them the benefit of the doubt. It makes you feel better about yourself that you're mocking or gossiping or judging the mom who doesn't have her kids perfectly dressed or they're missing this or their hair is not done or her house isn't clean. It makes you feel better because there's an insecurity. Other people see that. I'm 
hoping that at some point we have a movement where this becomes the norm to love them not in spite of our differences but because of them everybody is different and everybody is valuable and their story is valuable I tell my kids that all the time so my confession today is that I have struggled with this myself and it is something that I am working so hard on and I really don't know how to 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 call it to light other than doing a video about it that's the whole reason I do my videos to make it easier for other moms to feel so they feel related, so they feel understood, so they feel less crazy, because I wish I had that five years ago. I wish I had someone making me feel not nuts. And when I did finally get that, when I finally had someone say me too, my world changed. This has been very therapeutic for me. I sure appreciate you listening. Guys, I do these videos mostly for me <laughs> because it is therapeutic for me the whole process the recording the editing and the posting is very very therapeutic for me but I do it for you I do it to help and so if I'm on the right path please the only way that I can know that is if you are giving me a thumbs up or putting it in the comments or even sharing it when you share it to me that means whoa this really hit it like struck a chord with somebody. I know that people on social media always ask, like, share, subscribe, but it's also a gauge for, for me to know if this is something that is worthwhile talking about. So I'm gonna leave you with this. If it is something that you enjoyed or valued, like it or comment below. Let me know what else you want me to talk about. But I'm about to be home, so I'm gonna say goodbye. And I'll see you next time. Don't miss any videos. Hit that subscribe button and be one of the first ones notified by hitting that bell button.